All right, this is the start of day three on the uh, Honda Shadow VLX 600 that I'm working on for a customer. We've got it started, we've got it running. Um, the battery, I've got a battery in it that's working, eh, it holds about half a charge. Even though it thinks it's full, it's only about half charged. So we ordered a new battery and it's uh, it'll be here tomorrow. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just like check the tire pressure, check all the lights, make sure everything else is working fine. And uh, then we'll just be done waiting for that battery to come in. So yeah, all right, let's get that going. Okay, over here it tells us, um, this is on the uh, chain guard, and uh, I don't know if you can tell, but this chain is looking kind of rusty. Um, I guess it's okay for now, but yeah, he's, he really should put a new chain on it here soon. Um, the sprocket itself, eh, doesn't look too bad. So, I mean, that can go a while. Is this an O-ring chain? I can't tell. Yeah, it's an O-ring chain, so. All right, I think we're good with the chain and sprocket, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Um, yeah, so over here, uh, it's gonna show us what the pressure is that we need to put on in the tires. And we're gonna go 29 in each tire. Yeah, we'll go 29 in each tire. We've got our handy dandy little uh, cordless air pump here and the valve stem is right down here and we're just going to check and see what the pressure is right now. Um, we may not need to add anything. So let me uh, turn it on. 8.5. <laughs> Tire pressure is at 8.5. So we're going to go ahead and set that up to 29. Alright, we've got it set. Right now it's showing that there's 8.5 uh, pounds of pressure in the tire. So I've set this up to uh, 29 and we're going to let it go. Alright, there we go. we got the back tire up to 29 pounds now. You can definitely see a difference. Um, looks like there's some rust on the rim too. Moving on to the front tire. Again, I'm going to set this down to... We're going to set it at 30 because it always seems to cut off a little early. This feels like it might be up to pressure already, but we'll find out. Yeah, it's at 19. Okay. There we go. Okay, air pressure's good. It's at 29 pounds in each tire. Uh, let's move on to... Uh, Check it all the lights and make sure all the lights work. We'll start in the front. All right, here we go. Headlights working, bright lights working, turn signals. Okay, left turn signal does not work, but the marker light works, so that probably tells me that the rear turn signal light is out. Let's try the right side. No, it's not working either. Uh, let's start the bike up and just to make sure that's not part of the problem. One of the turn signals work. That could be several things. It could be the relay um, or both bulbs in the back are burned out. So uh, first and foremost, let's go check the bulbs in the back and just make sure. So 
So we're going to check those bulbs and uh, see if that's the issue. If not, we may have to put a new relay on it. Um, hopefully I've got a relay that will fit it. So let's find out. All right, and it looks like these come off with just uh, one screw right at the bottom. So go ahead and pop that off. There we go. Now this should just come right off. There it is. All right, uh, that bulb looks good actually. Um, I'm going to test. The bulb looks good. I don't think it's the bulb. So I'm going to test that real quick and see what it does. I've got both bulbs up now. And let me uh, throw some light on it over here. It's not going to be too much light for you, is it? No, okay. Um, both of them look just fine. I'm not seeing any problem with the bulbs. So uh, I'm just going to run through a continuity test just to make sure. <sighs> continuity. Yep, that bulb's good. And that bulb's good. All right, well, both bulbs are good. So, so let's put them back in. And uh, next, I think we should check the relay. Um, it's really the only other thing involved. So let's check that. So it looks to me like the relay is right here um, under this bundle of wire which is right here. So, let's go ahead and pull it off of there. Okay, that's your relay for the blinkers, the flashers and everything. But, if you follow the wires going to the turn signals, which are these two here, if this one goes all the way back, right? Yeah. So, these are the turn signals and it looks like somebody spliced into them. Why I don't know, but it looks like at some point somebody spliced into them. So I'm going to get my meter out and uh, check it and see if that's our problem. Okay, let's go ahead and get these tested. Um, I'm going to hook this up to just somewhere. Here, this bolt right here will work, should. Let's test it. Put it on the positive on the battery and yes light comes on all right so if I turn the bike on got nothing got nothing and this should be the tail light yep this is the tail light and one of these is probably the brake light let's check it. Yep, that's the brake light. Now what's this one? Nothing. All right. Um, horn works. Uh, let's try the left blinker, which should be this wire here. Yeah, see, we're not getting anything. Let's check the right one, which should be this one. Getting nothing. All right. Um, let's go ahead and... Uh, I, I don't know why somebody is in here messing with this thing, but you can see there's, see there's a little piece of wire hanging. Now I'm beginning to wonder if it just blew a fuse. It may have just blown a fuse. So let's, let's check that. Winker. <laughs> Winker, horn stop, position, meter tail, pilot lamp. So, ignition headlight, spare, spare. So, this 15 right here <coughs> is the one that does, but it does everything. So, the other parts are working, so it's not the fuse. 
I'm just going to check the continuity of the fuse just to be sure. Alright, fuse is good. So that's definitely not the problem. Now what we can do is test our meter. Oh hey look, blinkers are working. So let me wiggle it a little bit. There it goes. See? Alright, so this is our problem right here. Somewhere right here. Alright, let's uh, figure that out. Okay, it's the relay. If you notice, let's hook that all back together. We're not going to mess with that. Retape that. Go ahead and put it in. Oh, there we go. I didn't do anything. Alright, so I thought it was with these connections here, but the relay is right next to them. So I didn't realize every time I was making it work, I was hitting the relay. So now if we turn the left one on, it's working. Turn the right one on. Move the relay and it starts working. So we've got a bad relay. Okay. All right, bad relay definitely. So let's get this off of here and uh, see what we can do about that. It's a three prong. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and check the oil real quick. Um, he said it might need changed, but I'm not going to change it if it doesn't need it. I mean, the bike's only got 7,000 miles on it. Yeah, that oil looks good. Let me see. Yeah, I wouldn't, I mean, I wouldn't change it. I'd leave it alone. I don't want to charge him for something that doesn't need done. That's what it comes down to. So I am not going to change the oil um, unless he absolutely wants it changed. Uh, I mean, then I guess I will, but it doesn't look like it needs it. So I wouldn't mess with it if I was him. I'll let him know that and I'll let him make the decision. But I guess done checking everything out. Um, now we're just waiting on the battery and the new turn signal relay to come in and uh, we'll be done. Ah, here's the uh, tag down here. This is an 01. It's a 2001 motorcycle. All right, folks. Well, that's it. That's the end of this uh, series. Well, I'm going to have one more where I put the, everything on and then I'll go for a short ride. So there'll be one more video on this VLX um, after this one. But this is the second to the last. <laughs> um, we've got everything working. We've got all the lights working. We've got the engine running good. Um, you know, it, it starts right up. Uh, the battery is still having an issue, so I've ordered a new battery, and the turn signals are still acting up, and it's the relay, so I've ordered a new relay, which will, so the battery and the relay will both be here tomorrow, and uh, I'm hoping by, you know, in a couple of days, two or three days from now, I'll be able to, probably two days from now, I'll be able to um, get this out on the road and get, uh, you know, a little test ride in and make sure everything's working properly. So, yeah. We're going to call it there, and I appreciate everyone watching. Um, if you could, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, and uh, please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more like this. All right, I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one.